everyone welcome in crochet life and stuff with Deborah. <sighs> it is the Saturday vloggy thing wow finally Saturday it's been a long week but a week without enough time if that makes any sense to you oh my goodness um where do I start starting with the life stuff I'm just tired I am tired now, normally when I come on and do videos sometimes I'll put a little you know under eye concealer on you know almost always a little lipstick and almost always a little eye stuff because my eyes and my lips just kind of disappear and I'm like just this blank white face well today I did not let you see all of my dark circles it's been a crazy week I've not gotten enough sleep and yes that's my own fault I stay up too late and then I work too long and blah 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 blah, blah. well the washing machine got delivered yes we are finally starting to catch up on laundry uh, Oscar is over there trying to see what my tomato plants are all about because yes I have tomato plants in the bedroom you will see a little slideshow do hickamajig if you stay to the end of my little plants progress um, yeah that's something else I've been working on um, oh my goodness but yeah it's mostly been work work cooking some good stuff that is a thing and more work as far as cooking one night this week uh, we had some we have some king oyster mushrooms that we had picked up at H Mart and um, those are beautiful they're huge mushrooms and they're very meaty textured um, so I made a pretty much meatless dish uh, with one of those sliced up nice and thick but still sauteed onions some shiitake mushrooms um, some bok choy and I made a sauce with it with um oh gosh what did I put in that sauce that was one of those whirling Tasmanian devil sauce kind of things I just you know pick things from here there and everywhere and it was stinking delicious oh my gosh usually I don't like pat myself on the back for food that I make I'm like do you like it is it okay because I get ideas from recipes but I don't exactly follow recipes because that means following directions and who wants to do that right <laughs> it's like me following a pattern you know um, but it turned out really really good so I was pleased with that okay uh, Oscar's now being good he's just lying on the bed mm. nice fresh clean bed by the way I finally since we have the washer uh, one of the things that I caught up on after that came in my favorite blankets that I like to sleep with on the bed it was time they got washed they're nice and clean sitting there and of course he has to deposit his cat fur all over it you know most people's lint traps in their dryer probably pick up actual lint most of the lint on my dryer lint trap is cat fur yeah I mean there's lint in there too don't get me wrong but it's cat fur <laughs> Anywho, I am on a lunch break from work on a Saturday <sighs> The 65 hour work week is almost over. Yes, queen. Anyway, there has been some crochet. First, I want to show you this. This hot mess right here. Um, I had gotten behind on my hashtag rock 2022 AU, which is a make along all year long being put on by Judy at Witch Piece Crafts. I will have her linked in the, somewhere down there, up there somewhere. Um, and I was scrambling around looking for colors for the square that came out on the 15th because she puts out one on the first one on the 15th Now I'm doing squares you can do whatever you want it's just a make along inspired by album covers and albums and it is so cool the one this month is um, or this month this time that I'm finally getting to I started yesterday is Roberta Flack feel like making love and it's a really cool album cover. I'm not going to show it here, but I'm going to show you what I have so far. Oh, here's another color that's in it. The album color is very light and pastel-y. And I'm doing squares that will eventually go together and become a huge stained glass looking blanket. Most of it is corner to corner within each square. And it's looking kind of cool so far. And I'm having fun with it. I have managed to commit to two year-long projects because I'm crazy like that okay 
too. Put this over here so I don't get it all discombobulated. Uh, the other project, you have seen this part of this. This is my, uh, my temperature blanket. Ta-da, ta-da. This is the part you've already seen because I am putting it together every, every day as I go. I am adding to a strip. And then once the strip is complete of 19 squares across, I crochet it all on there. I am not going to get behind on this sucker. One night I was up in here doing this at midnight, but I am doing it. Yes, the squares don't actually take that long to do. Um, they really don't. But that's why I did the project this way. It's a DK weight um, Amigo yarn. I couldn't think of the word. Amigo yarn from Hobie. All DK, all in sort of blues and some greens. And this is this week's progress so far. I always, when I start the strip off, not really this week, but it is working out mostly to a week, a lot of darker colors there because we have gotten warmer. When I do my first square to make sure that I remember which side is first, because I'll think that I'm going to remember, but let me tell you, I never do. Little pretty stitch marker goes right there to say, yes, this was the first square in this row. Kidneys. If you've never watched Boston Legal, you won't get that reference. But yes, yeah, some purples have finally gotten into that. That is over there. And how I keep track of that, of the temperatures, is this. So people say, oh, I can't keep up with all that. You just get a little book. This is from Dollar Tree. Uh, the front of it says, things I can't say during a video call, which I really kind of need to keep up with because that's how we, we live is video calls at work. Yeah. Um, every day I will, for the beginning of the month, I write down the days of the month, just columns of numbers. Yes, it could be done neater. Yes, I could print on a spreadsheet. Why would I want to do that? Okay. This is all just by hand. Um, on the left side of the column, I do the low temperature that's in Fahrenheit. And then in parentheses, I put it in Celsius because I am trying to learn the conversion. I really think that we should switch to everything metric over here. Okay. <clears throat> and on the right side, I do the high temperature, same thing. And these numbers in the middle are just numbers of the color of yarn that I chose because I numbered them. My little, ta-da. And it is one through nine on mine. Plus I'm using that white, which is the number one as my joining color. There's not a lot of white in there because that only goes up to uh, the 27 degrees Fahrenheit, which is uh, minus two, minus almost three Celsius. Um, we don't get that cold here in my part of the country, so that's not too bad. I imagine we're going to have a lot of purple this summer, which is above 91 degrees, which is above 32 and a half, 33. So there is that. That is how that is kept up with every day. Oh, and the pen that I'm using, I've got to show you. This stays with my project. This is an official members exclusive. Members exclusive. Lisa Ladybird loves pen. Love it. And yes, this gets used every single day. And it will get used every single day all year long. And the hook that I'm using on this is pretty sure yeah this is a clover more 5.0 with my dk weight yarn i found that i really i kind of like these clover amores now i am a i'm a knife holder mostly um this is not squishy but it's soft enough to not be too hard does that make sense i know i'm talking gibberish at this point i am like delirious with no sleep but it's smooth it works well i don't mind the uh Oh, it's not in line. It's the other one. Whatever they call it. That's kind of how I learned. So it's not a big deal to me. And I keep a little teeny tiny um, El Cheapo brand three millimeter hook to do the stitching on the, the front of the, uh, the numbers and all that nonsense that I'm adding to the front. Oh, my numbers are awful, but they're there. Um, another whip that actually got a little bit of work this week. Not much which is why it is staying a whip. It is not getting sent where I wanted it to be sent because there's no way I could have finished it. It'll have to wait until next year when shawls are being asked for or it will go to something else 
where shawls are being asked for. Uh, this is being made, by the way, in a 4.5 millimeter hook. This is one of the El Cheapos. I always have to look because it's kind of hard to tell. This is that shawl, the no pattern uh, beginner crochet brain shawl. Start of it anyway. And it's being made with Red Heart It's a Wrap. And if I could just get this picked up. It was making some progress, but there was no way that I could get it finished before the end of the month to get it sent out. The end of the month is here. It has just been crazy. But it will eventually be a thing. A little next row down there was coming along. Let me show you that yarn again in case you have missed it before. Oh, the bag. Linus Design. Rita. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's Cardinals. Got it around Christmas time, and I absolutely love it. And where's my yarn? The yarn's in here, but I just, I'm fumbling. Here we go. Red Heart, it's a wrap. Hues. This is one of the yarns I picked up at Ollie's during one of my many Ollie's hauls. This was something I got. I had no idea what I'd use it for. So I'm using it. It says to use a 2.75 millimeter hook. No, I did not. I'm using a 4.5 because because reasons because yeah anyway that did not get accomplished for this month like I wanted it to and that kind of makes me sad but there will be more time eventually we get caught up with things um, I feel a little bit better now that we're getting some laundry done I still have to get a plant situation thing for outside when I can move my plants out because I already gave two tomato plants away because <laughs> they look so good. And I'm like, I don't need this many tomato plants. I, you know, I didn't think anything would come up. I had no idea how any of this worked and they did. And I did some transplanting and I was like, yeah, I got too many right now. I have three each in a wide kind of planter thing. And that is jammed into a cooler that comes, um, when I get my insulin and stuff. Because they send it in a cooler and you end up with so many of these stupid coolers and they're so hard to get rid of. But sitting in those, that way I don't get any water in my bedroom. But they're up and they're in front of a window that gets on the southern side of the house. Lots of sunlight. It's working well for right now. Outside, not sure. I was thinking a vertical plant stand. But then I realized some of these plants that I'm growing get a lot bigger than I thought. It's like... Whoa, it's, it's going to take some pondering, but I have a little bit of time yet. Just not too much time, but I am get, getting more soil a little at a time buying it because it is going to all have to be raised beds, uh, things that I can reach. I can knock it down on the ground, not without pain later. And we have critters. I'm out in the woods. There are critters. So yeah, raised things up higher so that I can deal with it trying trying to do things new things still haven't touched my macrame cord still haven't touched my diamond painting I need more hours in a day I really do anyhow I haven't done any real shout outs in a while I do want to do a shout out today I'm gonna to link um, to a, a YouTube -y friend of mine miss Ashley at stitching ain't easy because she is starting a new endeavor and I hope that she has so much success with it. I want to make sure you check her out. Now go check out her channel, look at some of her videos, and then she will, you will see the videos that I'm talking about with her new endeavor. Um, it's fun. It's informative. And I think you should check her out and check out her new endeavor as well. There you go. No more than that. No more. Non-yarny shout out because I haven't done any of those in a while. Um, my non-yarny shout out, shout out, which I hope well, I will put up here somewhere, is going to be Transport Evolved because I want an EV so bad. But money, you know, that's always a thing. And I'm driving mine until it, it's worn out. I mean, it's it's approaching 300,000 miles right now, so it's it's been a minute. But I would love to have an EV and I'd love to learn more about it. And that channel is awesome. I love Nikki and her team. 
And if you have any interest at all in electric vehicles, electrification of everything, um, they also do bits about some house stuff, but it's mostly electric vehicles. Um, she's got a great team. They're awesome. And sometimes you can even see her chickens. That's right. Check them out as well. Thank you for coming by. I appreciate you. If you stuck around this long, please look at the little slideshow at the end because that's a thing as well. It probably won't have sound because I haven't figured out how to do that yet. You know, I'm new. Um, but <laughs> I will see you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.